Namaste. My name is David Kyle. And today what I'd like to do is introduce a preparation for the lotus posture. Uh, I travel a lot, do a lot of workshops. This is something that comes out of my workshops. And it's a simple, straightforward preparation uh, that will help you to uh, evolve your lotus uh, safely and effectively. Lotus seems to be one of those postures that everybody wants to be able to do and do well. And in doing it well, also avoid injury or avoid pain. And there's a common misconception that goes along with being able to do lotus well. The misconception is that the adductors or muscles on the inside of the thigh are what need to open. Uh, there's a second misconception and that is that somehow the knee has to open or change in some way in order to be able to do lotus. What I find to be the case more often than not is that the muscles in the buttocks are actually what need to change and open in order for somebody to safely and effectively be able to do lotus. The muscles specifically are the deep six lateral rotators, the gluteus minimus, and the gluteus medius muscles. So the preparation I'm going to show you will directly stretch and lengthen those tissues. And in order to test my theory and my hypothesis is we're going to do lotus first and then we're going to do the preparation and then do lotus again so that we can feel any change that has happened from doing this one simple straightforward preparation. So those of you who have a tight lotus are probably going to see the most amount of change because you'll, you'll be able to get into lotus, it'll be a little bit tight, we'll do the preparation, and then you'll repeat lotus again and you'll see how much change has happened as a result. For those of you who can't do lotus and who may even have difficulty with the preparation, uh, what I'll do is I'll bring out a block and a bolster and I'll show you a few ways in which you can adapt this to get at those same tissues comfortably and safely and effectively. All right, so let's set up the experiment and the preparation. So the first thing I'm going to do is put myself into lotus posture. When I put myself into lotus, the right leg goes first. So I bring that heel close to my navel, if I can. And then the second leg comes up again from underneath. And so with the first lotus, all we want to do is get a sense or a feel for how tight our knees are, how tight or how much pressure we feel in the ankles or how much pressure between the two shin bones. And we just want to take that in for a second because we're going to do the preparation following this and then we're going to do lotus again to see the change that happens. So let's go ahead and do the preparation. So you may have seen this before. I'm probably going to add a couple of variations to it. Uh, it's often called double pigeon. Sometimes it's called fire log. And it's set up in a way where the shins should be parallel to the front line of the mat. Uh, you don't want to set these up all the way out here. If your knee's up here, then you may have this desire to scoot your bottom forward, but don't do that. Uh, instead, leave the knee floating up and take a block and perhaps put it under there, or you might have to put it this way. You have to adapt a little bit and change depending on your needs. Some of you may even need to put it in front like this. Um, I've got a second bolster, which you may, some of you who are particularly tight, if your knees look like this, then you may actually want to sit on one bolster, put one leg under and one foot on top, something like this. And then we're going to do the stretches. You would follow along the same movements uh, just in this configuration. So I'm going to remove these. Set up the double pigeon again. Now in order to get the pressure into the buttocks, what I want to do is uh, fold forward so that uh, I have to move at the hip joint. And when I fold forward, what I feel is pressure in my buttocks. Uh, some of you may feel it out here. If you feel pressure in your knee or pain in your knee, then definitely lift it up and put a block under it. So first is forward and on your own, 
you would want to do this for about 5 to 15 breaths. So I'm going to do it a little bit quicker. If you're watching this on YouTube or something, uh, you might just hit pause or just watch, see what the sequence is, and then do it on your own as an experiment. And then from there, I rotate my body and my torso. And then I'm going to fold so that my sternum or chest goes right towards my foot. And this is the second direction we want to go in. Again, uh, you might be up here. Maybe your elbows go to the floor. And if you can, touch your chest to your foot. This should increase the amount of pressure you feel in the buttocks. And then third, after about five to ten breaths here, you want to then place your hand on your thigh up here close to your knee, press down and rotate externally, and continue to reach in the other direction at the same time. That should put even more pressure into the hip joint. And then we come up and we're going to repeat the same thing on the other side. So. Now the right leg goes down, the left foot comes on top, we go forward again. If you can, get your chest to touch your shin, 5 to 15 breaths, come up, rotate so the chest heads towards the foot. Again, hold for 5 to 15 breaths on your own. And then left hand goes on the left thigh near the knee, pushes down and rotates backwards while you reach in the opposite direction. This should further increase the amount of pressure you feel in your buttocks. After 5 to 15 breaths, come back up and what we're going to do is lotus again. And again, I check, feel how much pressure I feel maybe in my knees, ankles, shins, or buttocks. And in general, the lotus feels, even on me, more open as a result of doing this. And I hope that you've had the same experience. Uh, on your own, repeat this on a daily basis, maybe even twice a day if you're really wanting to work on your lotus. If you have knee problems or knee pain, then you have to make some modifications. Um, there's a couple of other YouTube videos that I have that deal directly with the knee and why you might be feeling pain there. Namaste.